everyone, our new game today is called Lucky Dice and for this you're going to need two dice, a piece of paper and a pen. Um, the piece of paper is to keep your score on but just so you can see what's exactly going on I'm going to do the scoring on this whiteboard behind. Okay. So job number one is to choose a target number that you want to get to. I'm going to get for 25. Okay. The winner of this game is the first person to get 25 or over. Okay. Now the idea of the game is that when it's your turn, you're allowed to roll the dice as many times as you like, and each time you roll it, you add the two numbers together and you put it on your score, and then you can roll them again and add it to your score and keep going. But there is a catch, and the catch is this: if you roll a one, then whatever score you got for that round or that turn is cancelled out. Okay. So I'm going to start to play it before I introduce one other rule that's a little bit sneaky, okay? Right, so player one starts. I've got a three and a two, and a three and two make five. Now, I can either stick at that score and keep it, or I can risk it and go again. I think I'm going to risk it and go again, okay? So I've got five, can I add more to it? Um, I've got five and three, which is eight. So I've now got to add five and eight together and my score is 13. Now I'm going to stick, so I'm going to put an S there in the circle to say that I'm sticking, and that means that I can keep that score. Okay, right, now it's player two's go. Oh, they've rolled a three and a two, so they get a score of five. Now they're going to choose, are they going to have another go again? Let's go again. Three and five is eight. Strange mirroring of scores here by coincidence, but we're going to 13. At this time, I think I'm going to be brave and going again. Now, I've just rolled a 4 and a 1. As soon as I get a 1, it means my score for that go goes back to 0. So this person, player 2, is on 0. Right, player 1's turn. I'm starting on 13. 6 and a 1, it means I stay on 13. That's the end of my go. Okay, player 2. Their turn, they're on naught. 3 and 3 is 6, so we'll keep that. And now we're going to go again. 3 and 2 is 5. That will make 11. But now do I stick or do I carry on? I think I'm going to stick on that one, okay? Right, player 1's turn. A 3 and a 1. So I get nothing for that turn, but I don't lose 13, okay? Right, player 2's turn. 3 and a 1 as well. Nothing more. Okay, back to player one. A two and a one. That's the end of my go. Player two's turn. Two and two is four, so I have four to eleven, which makes fifteen. Now, do I want to have another go? I think I need to be brave. Oh dear, I've got a five and a one. So I lose my score for that turn, which is fifteen, and I go back to... 11, okay? Player one's turn. 5 and 2 is 7. So I'm on 13, I add 7, that makes 20, okay? I think I'm going to risk it and hopefully get to 25. 4 and 3 is 7. So player one wins because they've got 27. There is one other rule that I haven't mentioned. Now, as I said before, if you throw one dice, you lose whatever score you got for that particular turn. But if you get the dreaded double one, whatever your score, total score is, the whole thing goes back to zero. Okay? 